Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, uh, this is kind of a follow up to yesterday's video where I showed you guys a new secret alternate ending to Halo 1. Where if you do a certain, if you cheat your way through the ending and you cause a glitch where you have infinite time on the final level during the Warthog run, it results in a different ending. Well, for today, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, as promised. So, at the cafeteria part of the mission, and you do need to do this with mods, it's much easier on a PC, it's pretty trivial because there's so many tools and uh, hacks out there. But basically you just want to no-clip through that door. It's, instead of going to the room where you put Cortana in the the computer and then you get the whole cutscene and everything with Guilty Spark, you just skip that part uh, right to the cafeteria, just no-clip through the door, and proceed through the mission as normal until you get to the engine room here. So, once we're here, we are once again we have a few more doors to uh, no clip through. You could, you don't need to no clip all the way up here. Uh, I just, I'm just kind of lazy at this part. But we need to come over here, and actually that door is not locked, so I kind of no clip through it for no reason. But we just want to go right to the elevator shaft, and the door here is going to be locked. But that's what no clip is for, so we just need to go right through it. So once we're here, now we just need to proceed up the elevator shaft just like yesterday's video. Now while we make our way up the elevator shaft using no clip mode or launches or whatever method you want to use, it doesn't matter. As promised, we are going to go with another pun again. <laughs> so here's the first one. <clears throat> what did a grape say when it got stepped on? Nothing. But it let out a little whine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyways, we're approaching the top of the elevator shaft here. So. Once we're, the entrance is here, but we can't go inside just yet. We need to go a little bit further and then drop back down until we hit a loading point. Now, you may hit a loading point here, and that's fine. You could proceed to the mission now if you want. Once you hit a loading point, the timer won't start. You'll have infinite time. But we want to make this a little bit better. We want to get a little bit closer and then drop back down and get this loading point where the black bar show up and it says, warning, hitchhikers may be escaping convicts. Once we get that, then we can proceed. Uh, but it's up to you, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're actually doing this with glitching somehow, like using launches or something, or crazy uh, clipping glitches, then you may not have the uh, option of getting the perfect loading point. But anyways, we are going to proceed through this now. Uh, all we need to do is just go to the Warthog, nor uh, the Warthog run normally. Now from this point on, as you can see, the timer will never engage. It will, uh, you, you basically have infinite time right off the bat. You can explore the Warthog run as much as you want, and time will never run out. But everything will still spawn normally, so... It's like, it would be like the exact same as the Warthog run, just no timer. So we have stopped the timer. And there will be a little bit more to that, so we're just going to go through the, run, the Warthog run normally, and then you'll see what happens to the timer uh, later on. But while we do this, I do have another pun for you guys. So, the other day I read this article about uh, Japanese sword fighters. Uh, it's pretty lengthy, but I can samurize it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why you guys love these puns so much. So the, some of these are like, oh my god. But you guys, uh, you guys want to return to puns, so, you know, give me guys what you want here. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. But uh, I guess for uh, videos from now on, I'll probably do like two, three puns per video. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, we're here at the Echo 419 part. We're just gonna skip Echo 419 as pretty much everybody does. Or you can stay and watch, it doesn't matter. Either way, after the Echo 419 part, Kutana will say uh, she's like calculating a new uh, alternate escape route and then she'll restart the timer. Once the timer restarts, as you can see, it, it's at zero seconds. There's no time left. And the timer spawned in the wrong part of the screen. Normally the final countdown timer spawns in the bottom right corner, but this time it actually spawned in the top left corner. So the timer is all like glitched out now. My guess is that the timer is like resuming from nothing. The, the timer is supposed to resume from where it left off, but since the timer never started in the first place, it has nothing to resume from, so it's all glitched, but it doesn't start at zero either. So it's, you know, probably why it's that way. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, the timer, even though it's at zero, you have infinite time and, you know, you can, uh, do whatever you want. You can even finish the mission if you want, sort of. Uh, if you saw my video yesterday, you'll remember that if we do actually finish the mission, it doesn't work. It actually gives you a alternate ending cutscene, 
which is the you lose ending but with slightly different sound effects um, if you want to see the differences in more detail you can just watch um, yesterday's video where I do compare the differences between the actual you lose cutscene and this is what I'm calling the cheaters cutscene whether it's an intentional Easter egg or just some kind of like super glitched cutscene that's up for debate um, but yeah just wanted to share that with you guys but yeah so if you do this glitch as you just saw there you can't actually finish the mission yes you have infinite time throughout the entire uh, Warthog run and you can never actually fail the Warthog run but once you uh, hit the final cutscene it loads the you lose cutscene or the cheaters cutscene instead and after it's over it reverts you back to the beginning of the Warthog run so you can't actually finish the mission so this is more of an exploration kind of glitch uh, but anyways hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you did make sure to leave a like as always and if there's anything else for me to check out or look into just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to look into it uh, but other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.